So today we continue on in Proverbs, looking at chapter 3, verses 11 and 12. And the Bible says, do not despise the Lord's chastening or, or don't despise his rebuke. The Lord loves those that he chastens and he delights in those that he chastens. Or he chastens those in whom who he loves and, and the, whom, in whom he delights. So the best way I can illustrate this for you is I have a three-year-old. And she gives us plenty of opportunity to show her we love her through discipline. I've just never seen a kid that can act up and be as bad as she is. She wants her own way all the time, and she'll be happy to tell you she wants her own way. And she's going to do it her way. And she's going to not care what you think and what you want her to do. Well... I had, I've come face to face with the uh, concept of this is going to hurt me a lot worse than it hurts you. I hate having to be the, the guy that disciplines. I hate having to be the one that, that has to bring down the hammer. But you know what? I love my daughter and I want her to be good and I want her to turn out well. And so I have to discipline her. But I make sure that she knows that I love her. And I make sure that she knows that she's my little girl. Well, God's the same way with us. We're not going to get away with doing whatever we want to do without there being discipline. God's not a cross between Santa Claus and Grandpa. Grandpa forgets everything's okay and Santa Claus gives you everything you want. It's not God. God wants us to have a life that's fruitful, joyful, and, and very rewarding. And so in order to do that, God guides us. And sometimes that guidance is his disciplining hand. Now, for you and I, here's the application. When God rebukes us, when God disciplines us, when God corrects us for wrongs we've done, they ought to rejoice. Yeah, it's easy to say, huh? But rejoice and be glad because you're one of his. You don't discipline kids that aren't yours. God doesn't discipline those that aren't his children. If you face the disciplining hand of God, just go, that's my, my father disciplining me because I'm his child. He's trying to make you and I better. Stop and take joy in the fact that your father loves you enough to discipline you. Want to read the whole devotional? Go to the link at the bottom of the page, and we'll see you tomorrow.